Next up, the co-chair of Prop DSA, Kimberly. Hey everyone, uh, as you know already, my name's Kimberly. I'm just a local organizer with the Providence DSA and Reclaim RI. Um, I have to say it is sad and infuriating to see yet another black person being gunned down by cops for no good cause. I stand here in solidarity with you all to honor Dante Wright's memory and demand justice. May he rest in peace. I guess um, this is what going back to normal looks like. It's why normal has to go. We shouldn't be in a rush to return to normal when what's normal is, you know, the murder of citizens by those tasked to protect when what's normal is barbaric and unjust. Every few months, uh, we come out here protesting the same thing, and yet the system remains as sturdy as ever. I want to ask you, I want you to ask yourselves, what will it take to change this? To stop what is so clearly wrong and despicable? The barbarity that we see in the criminal justice system is a symptom of a sick society with a strict and cruel hierarchy. Ask yourselves why we never see Wall Streeters accidentally gunned down by cops or other powerful moneyed individuals. We know most victims of this violence tend to be overwhelmingly poor and black people. This country has deemed poor black people to be at the bottom of the social ladder, not worthy of investments, protection, and a future. That has to change. When we demand justice, we must demand economic justice alongside it. For the first act of violence committed against poor black people is the robbing of their wealth and dignity through enforced generational poverty. Extended all the way extending all the way from the time that the slaves were first, well, the slaves won their freedom. The execution by cop is but the last crime committed by the state uh, in a series of crimes. So what must we demand? We must demand for all shooting involving a cop and a citizen to be investigated by the federal government. We need guilty cops to catch guilty verdicts, so we need qualified immunity gone. We need, we need to remove funding for fancy toys of oppression and allocate funding to create units of social workers that can deal with nonviolent calls. We need to deprivatize the prison system top to bottom. We need to draft a prisoner's bill of rights that guarantees that prisoners are treated like people. We need to end the war on drugs and treat addiction as a health issue, not a criminal run. Criminal run. Um, yeah. And all around, we need to create a system um, that breaks the cycle of violence. Then we need to end what is the mother of crime, which is poverty. Poverty is a choice our society has made, and we could choose at any time to restructure society so that people have a floor under them. We can make sure everyone is guaranteed a high standard of living so no one ever has to steal, sell drugs, sell their body um, to make ends meet ever again. We can create a society where people don't have to self-medicate because their current reality is intolerable. We can we can end the pain that is so common in America, but first we must make our demands clear and organized to enact the highest political costs upon those politicians and the special interests that hold up a corrupt system and protect dirty cops through sheer greed and racism. We must be even more clear about escalating our efforts to meet the needs of the downtrodden till justice is done, till the system has been fundamentally made anew to those who serve the needs of the powerful, bend the knee. 
we won't go home until the fight is over. If you couldn't tell, she's the GOAT. <laughs> Clap it up one more time. Go ahead, keep it clapping. You will not find someone who works harder than her. Please go up to her and ask how to get involved. <laughs>